Hi there. I'm Aruna Govindaraju, OpenSearch Specialist Architect, and today we will see how OpenSearch service is used for vector search. OpenSearch is a community-driven, open-source, full-text search engine built on top of Apache Lucene. OpenSearch service is a managed offering on the AWS cloud that allows you to build search applications at scale. The core search engine enables text analytics to do full-text search aggregation, Boolean search, and uses BM25 to score and rank the results. Various ML integrations have matured over the past few years, allow you to generate and store vector embedding, build semantic and predictive search, perform ML analytics through anomaly detection, fraud detection, and model-driven inference. Let's look at the various plugins that enable ML integration. At a high level, the ML integrations can be classified into three categories. The KNN and the Neural plugin enable vector embedding, storage, and search. The LTR or the Learning to Rank plugin allows you to rank, rescore the search results at qu query time. The ML Commons allows you to bring your own model to build business specific applications such as recommendations, anomaly detection, and predictive search. Here are five reasons as to why today OpenSearch is also used as a vector database. Open Search allows you to build, store, search, manage, and scale vector embedding. Today for the demo, I will be showing how to associate a pre-trained model to an index in your cluster and also compare the vanilla search results to semantic search using the Open Search dashboard. Behind the scene, we will leverage the model serving framework. The framework aims to make it easier to integrate and operationalize ML models on OpenSearch to support a variety of ML use cases. The Neural plugin released in version 2.5 is an experimental feature for you to try out different models to build improved search experience. For the demo, I will upload a pre-trained model to the OpenSearch service cluster, create an ingestion pipeline associated with the model, define a set of fields that needs to be converted into vector, create an index mapping with the same and associate with the pipeline, create an index using the new mapping. At the time of ingesting the retail product catalog today, you can see how the predefined fields get converted to vector embedding using the neural plugin. Once the index is created with the vector embedding, we will perform a neural query search. The neural plugin will translate user-provided text into a KNN vector query using the same provided model ID. Let's move on to the demo. We are here in DevTools. As part of step one, we will first reset the default plugin mlcommons.only run on ml node to set to false. The neural search plugin is an experimental feature and does not support ml nodes in the GPU instances just yet. So we will run our model on our data node by setting this parameter to false. Once ML nodes are launched on the OpenSearch service, you can take advantage of GPU acceleration on your ML node. You can validate whether the setting is successful by checking your cluster settings. Step two, upload your model to your OpenSearch cluster. I have used the paraphrase multilingual mini LM model available in the OpenSearch documentation. Here is a quick reference for you under pre-trained models. The framework that we saw earlier supports only text embedding. As of the version 2.5, OpenSearch only supports the tart scripts and the Onyx format. The model size is also an important parameter that we need to specify. Most deep learning models are more than 100 MB. For this reason, OpenSearch splits the model file into smaller chunks to be stored in the model index. So make sure you correctly size your nodes so that you have enough memory when making inference. For this demo, I have used two R6 GD 4X large nodes but this really depends on the size of the data set and the model that you plan to upload. The model configuration includes the model type, embedding dimensions, and framework type. The all configuration field is used for reference purpose. You can specify all model configuration in this field. Once the model is uploaded, you can use the get model API generation to get the all the model configuration stored in this field. The URL is the URL to the model file and this model file must be saved as a zip file before you do the upload. Now let's execute this command. Here in your response you have a task ID that you need to capture. 
move on to the next step. Use the task ID to get the model ID. And here's the model that is generated. I have the model ID metadata here. Let's capture the model ID. And we would move on to step three where I need to load this model. The load model operation that we see here reads the model chunks from the model index and then creates an instance of the model to load into the memory. The bigger the model, more will be the number of chunks generated and more the number of chunks, longer it would take to load the model into the memory. Let's execute this command on step three. On your response, you have a task ID. Capture the task ID so that we can track the status of this task. So let's check the status of the load. As you can see, the response of the task status will include a model ID if the state is changed to completed. Now make sure you capture this model ID so that we can use in all the following steps. Let's move on to step four where we would create the neural pipeline. Here, let's create the neural pipeline, uh, which is an ingest pipeline, and it is associated with the model that you've just created. And all the fields in your index that needs to be vectorized are specified here. Now, let's quickly create the neural pipeline. Once that is completed, let's move on and the step five to create your new index. The new index semantic demo store will be associated with the neural pipeline that you just created. And also because the index maps to the KNN vector field, the index setting field index KNN will be set to true. Also for the fields that are defined in the pipeline as the fields that needs to be vectorized, use the KNN method definition to specify and declare the type, dimension and method. Let's quickly create the index. The index is created and let's move on to ingestion. Step six, ingest the required retail demo store or the product catalog into your semantic demo store. There are two ways to ingest into the semantic demo store. You can either re-index from the existing product catalog or you can do a bulk ingest from your source of truth. I'm going to be re-indexed from the existing catalog and let's do that. Now we are done. The semantic demo store is ingested with 2000 465 products and let's quickly see if your vector embeddings are generated. So your vectors, the description underscore V and the name underscore V are generated by your neural plugin. Now let's move on and look at neural search. We are back at the open search dashboard and we will be using the search relevance plugin to compare the results between vanilla search and a neural search. On your left side is a simple vanilla search that I'm going to search against the semantic demo store index that we just created. And also on your right side is the neural query that we will search against all your vector embedding. So let's quickly do red shirt and compare the results. Now let's compare the results between the two. Here for the left side on a vanilla search, it's doing a plain text search, full text search and the first Result is good and it matches what you just searched for and that is uh, the behavior of a BN25. It gets, gets the closest match to the top by default and so you got the right results. But when you review the rest of the results, you can see red backpack, red handbag, overshirt and red shoes. Now let's look at the neural search. Again, we have not fine tuned the semantic demo store index. So this is all out of the box. The neural search has an ability to understand the semantics of your catalog. And as you can see, it uh, surfaced red shirt, red overshirt, and then any color which is similar to red. So it is able to group pink and crimson along with red. So the top four results are much more relevant than what you would see on a vanilla search. Better yet, let me change the search term to something in French. Now that's a black shirt or a black dress. So as you can see on my left side on a vanilla search, there is no understanding of the language and the terms chemise and noir does not exist in my catalog. So I get zero results. On the other hand, when you're doing a, a neural search, I have used the sentence transformer, which is multilingual. So what happens is the, the chemise noir is translated into respective vector embedding by the neural plugin and all the documents that matches 
like black coat and black shirt, black jacket or surface to the top, thereby showing you that we can do a multilingual search without having to use any tokenizers or filters. This brings us to the end of the demo. Reach out to the OpenSearch service team now to enable the Neural Search plugin on the OpenSearch service cluster. Hope you will have fun exploring the Neural plugin and the Neural Search. Thank you.